everybody knows we still have stuff. The week before the 4th of July, I love it, is one of Mackenzie Campbell's favorite times of the year. It's just great to see the smile on everybody's faces when they come up, especially the little kids. She runs this fireworks stand off Elk Grove Boulevard with her family. That's just what we do. The money they make goes to a nonprofit of their choice. Dreamcatchers was um, started to help support the Handicap Adult School um, in buying tablets and other learning essentials that they will need. She says a donation to Dreamcatchers should be just one reason for people to buy legal fireworks. Lots of accidents happen from illegal fireworks. It's a big threat to the community. This year, Consumers Fire is hoping to limit that threat. They're holding an illegal firework amnesty event ahead of the 4th of July. We're trying to give folks the opportunity to drop them off. No questions asked, so they're not used in the community. Uh, they don't create a grass fire. They don't create a hazard. There's a big fine if you don't turn them over to officials. So in the city of Elk Grove, we can fine you up to $1,000 per device. So, and there's no cap on that. They're hoping that will help people realize the dangers of illegal fireworks. You want to talk about having your 4th of July ruined if you're going to spend thousands and thousands of dollars uh, on fines. The goal is for everyone to celebrate the holiday in a safe and smart way. People want to do fireworks. It's just really important to make sure you're doing the legal ones as those stay on the ground. And any legal firework will have a seal from the state marshal's office on the side. They also emphasized that safe disposal of these fireworks is important. After you set them off, put them in a bucket, fill it with water, and leave it overnight before you throw it away. Live in Elk Grove, Peyton Headley, KCRA 3 News. Peyton.